hallelujah. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who went about doing good, healing all oppressed of the devil. <clears throat> Excuse me, because God was with him. We welcome you to Jesus speaking, coming to you live from Witton, Scotland. Scotland's very cradle of Christianity, where our ministry operations in effect have been cancelled. But the Lord is undertaking. We're declaring his word today, his word from John's gospel. For this is the very prayer of Jesus. And it is one so little understand in today's Britain. Let me read you these holy scriptures. Jesus speaking to the Father, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world, the Great Commission. Go ye into the whole world and preach the gospel. Cast out devils, heal the sick, proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, perfect the saints for the work of the ministry, the very ministry which has been isolated in Whitton, Scotland, the local council, forbidding us to open our doors and run the Pentecostal Holiness Church, the Scots Kirk Congregation hymn sing, the midnight cry like we used to do, blasting out the praises of God, preaching out God's word, being cancelled by Dumfries and Galloway Council. But the word of God does not change. Hear this. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself. The day also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone. Context of the passage, the Lord Jesus is praying to the Father. Hence our prophetic word today, entitled, My Prayer to the Father. But for those also which shall believe on me through their word. This is our key scripture coming up. That they may all be one as thou, Father, art in me. And I indeed, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Listen to this. That they, meaning his church. In Matthew 16, Jesus said to Peter, Thou art the rock. Yet it was not referring to Peter himself, but the Christ who was to reign in him. Upon this rock, the Christ within Peter, because Jesus was to be risen up to the Father on the day of ascension. Hear ye, hear ye the word of the Lord. Upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What is that rock? the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Word of God, as we invite Him into our hearts and ask Him to be our Lord and Savior, as we repent of our sins, O Father, we come to Thee in the name of Jesus, repenting of our sins, neglecting the God of this world, coming to You, Lord Jesus, and ask You into our hearts and lives, that from this day forward you shall rule my life. I shall not be my own, for I have been bought with a price. I have been crucified with Christ. I live, yet not I. I live by the faith.
faith of the Son of God, that I, being born again, washed by the blood of the Lamb, am members of his body, flesh, and bones. Father, I declare it, that we are the branches to the vine. I am the vine, declares the Lord. You are the branches. You are partakers of my divine nature. And this is the intercession which was on Norman Grubb before he passed to heaven. The final intercession that the church should realize who they are. The body, the body of Christ, connected to the head, the branches to the vine. Jesus praying that they be one in us, that the world may believe. Why does the world not believe? Because Christianity is presented as being a form of godliness that denies the power. Christianity is presented as having a separate Jesus. Well, Jeremiah 3.14 declares that we, the church, are married to him. 1 Corinthians 6.17 declares those joined to the Lord are one spirit. And this is the intercession that came through Norman Grubb that the church will realize who and what the church is. And listen to this. And the Lord is speaking through me now. Realize this, saith the Lord, that the glory which thou gavest me, him speaking to the Father way back in John's Gospel, chapter 17, I have given them. Receive ye the glory this day, saith the Lord, that they may be one, even as we are one, that we be as the Son and the Father, by the Spirit, as they are one. O oh, Father, we intercede this in the name of Jesus, the realization we remove the blind eyes that men, women, and children may see <laughs> this final intercession that came through Norman Grubb. I pray it today in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Bye-bye for now.